This one's going to be on S Fox Pico text to speech. Um, this one's really good. Actually, you know, the two major ones that we have on Linux, we have like eSpeak and festival and those things, to be honest, hasn't really improved in the last decade. You know, they still sound robotic, but this thing are really awesome. So I'm going to show you, um, well, if you're on arch uh, or arch base, it's called, um, or this is the package I, I installed. It's called, uh, S Fox dash pico dash bin here and inside it here um i believe they grabbed some of these packages from debian and ubuntu so if you're on the ubuntu's or debian uh it should be called libts pico dash utils here um and the two programs they also include with this package on a um the aur here it's called pico to wave and pico speaker i believe the wave one uh comes with it but the the, the speaker one um it's like an, another um front end to this anyways the pico to wave here uh, it does it never really works for me it always crashes so we're just gonna focus on the pico speaker it basically does the same thing but uh it has more features too so that's what we're gonna look at here right um but if you are if you wanted to uh, try it out the pico to wave um you know what they have in here it basically outputs it to a WAV file, right? But the other one does it also, and it doesn't crash on me. So that's why we're looking at Pico Speaker here. So Pico Speaker, you know, just a command line tool here. And um, by default, you know, it'll use the English language, right? And you can do other stuff like output to a file also, if you wanted to. And they do have like, you know, volume pitch and stuff like that, but we're not gonna cover that here for this one. Uh, but how does this work here? So if I do Pico speaker and I just, you know, um, kind of like when you echo out some, you know, strings or whatever, you can do that. So if I do, uh, hello world, um, Right, something like that, and I hit enter. Hello world, all systems functioning within normal parameters. So you can do like that if you want to just type it in, um, you know, command line style. Um, if you want to do like a file, right, so we have a file here. Uh, do we have a file? Okay, yeah, we did. We have this file up here, right? This Xbox uh, text file. And if you want to do the same thing, which is, what is that? we we'll just pipe it in here or like mean uh, redirect the, the file into uh, the Pico speaker. So by default, it uses the English language. So you don't have to do any extra flags. So let's try it out here right now. Fox is an embedded speech technology company founded in 2000 and headquartered in Zurich, Switzerland. S Fox was acquired by Nuance Communications in 2011. The company's products included automated speech recognition, ASR, text-to-speech, TTS, and speech dialogue systems, with customers mostly being manufacturers and system integrators in automotive and mobile device industries. In 2009, SFOX made headlines with news that Google had chosen to include company's Pico TTS solution into the 1.6 release of Android platform. Licensed under the Apache license, version 2.0, the license, you may not use this file except in compliance with the license. So there you go. It's under uh, the Apache 2 license. I'm not sure if that's like true open source or not, but um, you know, you can use it here. And if you want to, instead of like, uh, you know, reading it aloud, you can actually output it to a file. So I'm going to do, uh, what was that one here? I'm going to do uh, O and let's say we do, um, you know, I don't know. My output dot uh, wave, right? And there you go. Now we should have a file called my output dot wave, and you can do you know uh, your audio player. S Fox is an embedded speech technology company founded in 2000 and headquartered in Zurich. All right, we'll cancel out of that. Cancel out of that and. 
so that's how that works really and let me show you some other languages they have they have spanish um oh yeah for um getting the available ones i'm not sure why they don't um, allow you to do that but here's the help page right here right they have this dash l here and uh you know it doesn't actually tell you the uh, available language if you do a dash l or anything like that right but if you tell uh dash l and you type in some random strings or whatever it is and then they'll tell you um the available languages here so they have like you know english great britain uh deutsch uh, spanish french italian stuff like that so i'm gonna show you the other ones here right uh we'll skip on to uh spanish here uh three so here we go this is uh spanish ENU barra Linux es la denominación técnica y generalizada que reciben una serie de sistemas operativos de tipo Unix, que también suelen ser de código abierto, multiplataforma, multiusuario y multitarea. Estos sistemas operativos están formados mediante la combinación de varios proyectos, entre los cuales destaca el entorno GNU, encabezado por el programador estadounidense Richard Steinman junto a la Free Software Foundation, una fundación cuyo propósito es difundir el software libre, así como también el núcleo de sistema operativo conocido como Linux, encabezado por el programador finlandés Linus Torvalds. NU-Linux, siehe GNU-Linux Namensstreit, bezeichnet man in der Regel freie, Unix-ähnliche Mehrbenutzerbetriebssysteme, die auf dem Linux-Kernel und wesentlich auf GNU-Software basieren. Die weite, auch kommerzielle Verbreitung wurde ab 1992 durch die Lizenzierung des Linux-Kernels unter der freien Lizenz GPL ermöglicht. Einer der Initiatoren von Linux war der finnische Programmierer Linus Torvalds. Er nimmt bis heute eine koordinierende Rolle bei der Weiterentwicklung des Linux-Kernels ein und wird auch als benevolent Diktator Vorliffe, deutsch wohlwollender Diktator auf Lebenszeit, bezeichnet. Alright, let's skip on to uh, French. US, au sans restreint. Le noyau de système d'exploitation Linux, et au sens large, tout système d'exploitation fondé sur le noyau Linux. Cet article couvre le sens large. A l'origine, le noyau Linux a été développé pour les ordinateurs personnels compatibles PC, et devait être accompagné des logiciels GNU pour constituer un système d'exploitation. Des partisans du projet GNU promeuvent depuis le nom combiné GNU slash Linux. Depuis les années 2000, Le noyau Linu est utilisé sur du matériel informatique allant des téléphones portables au superordinateur et n'est pas toujours accompagné de logiciels GNU. C'est notamment le cas d'Android qui équipe plus de 80% des smartphones. Uh, the next one is Italian here. Linux est une famille de systèmes operatifs de type Unix like, publiés en varie distributions aventi la caratteristica comune di utilizzare come nucleo il kernel Linux. Oggi molte importanti società nel campo dell'informatica come Google, IBM, Oracle Corporation, Eclat Packard, Red Hat, Canonical, Novelle Valve sviluppano e pubblicano sistemi Linux. All right, for the last one, we're doing um, Britain or Great Britain. And in memory of... Chadwick Boseman's death. Uh, we're gonna do some Black Panther quotes here. All right. I'm not king of all people. I am king of Wakanda, and it is my responsibility to make sure our people are safe and that vibranium does not fall into the hands of a person like you. Now, more than ever, the illusions of division threaten our very existence. We all know the truth. More connects us than separates us. But in times of crisis the wise build bridges, while the foolish build barriers. We must find a way to look after one another, as if we were one single tribe. Alright, so those are some of the Black Panther quotes. Um, there you go. So, um, it sounds really good, you know, way better than Festival or Eastpeak. 
Now, this is personally how I use it. I mean, there's, you can script it any other way, you know, like uh, for notification. Uh, some people, you know, they like to script it where you highlight some stuff and then um, hit a high key or something like that and it'll, it'll say the text to speech. But I personally use it with my W3M web browser. So I'm going to show you uh, how I use it. Um, you know, so if I go to an article or any of these sites or whatever it is, and I want to um, read it out loud, I can do that. So let's say, for example, is um, MTV thing here. And we can also use that uh, script that I showed you last time, readability, if we want to strip it even more. Hopefully this works. There you go. All right. And then if I do, um, oh, let me show you the hotkeys first, huh? So these are the high keys, you know, uh, was that the leader S, leader A, or leader K? So the leader S here is just, if you want to say the text to speech for a single word, uh, you know, you don't, you don't want to do like the whole article, you can do a single word. And they have this um, variable called W3M current word. It's like a built-in environment variable for it when uh, W3M is running. So if you change to a different word, it'll update the word, right? And the next one here, this one, it's, uh, you know, basically it'll read out the whole article. It'll dump it to a text file, uh, the buffer that you're on. And it'll do, you know, um, the text to speech commands that we've done. So you can actually put a different language if you do a dash L and then, you know, whatever it is that uh, you put, let's like say, you know, Spanish or something like that, then that's what you'll do for the commands. And this one is if I wanted to kill the audio, you know, midway through because sometimes I get bored and I'll, you know, kill it and then go on to the next thing. So that's how I'll kill it uh, using a hotkey. Anyways, with that being explained, how to use this here, all right? I quit out of that. And so if I wanted to just say one word only, uh, I go to that word, let's say uh, this is worldwide here. So I hit, um, um, was it um, leader S? Worldwide. Let's go on to another word here. Possible. So you see how that works if you just want to say that one single word. If you don't know how to pronounce it or something like that, um, that's a good way to do that. Now let's go on to uh, reading the whole article. Um, you do um, leader A. And you see at the bottom here, I'll say... Uh, File exists overwrite. You want to overwrite it because uh, it saves it to the same file. So we're overwriting like the no file or something like that. So we do a uh, Y for yes. Text only NPR.org. The MTV Mass in 2020. 10 takeaways. Text only NPR.org. Go to left square bracket one right square bracket full version. Left square bracket two right square bracket home. The MTV Mass in 2020, 10 Takeaways, by Stephen Thompson, NPR.org, August 31st, 2020 Middle. Awards shows often take place amid distractions, from natural disasters to civil unrest to the aftermath of a high-profile death. Sunday night's MTV Video Music Awards had to coexist with all three, not to mention a worldwide pandemic that made it impossible and, in New York City, illegal to assemble a live audience how did it go anyways you get the idea um if i want just it to read it to me and then i go browse and do some other stuff i can do that um so that's how that works so you can do this with any other you know sites so let's say we have hacker news here let's refresh this here what we got um let's say we'll clean this up here All right, so if I want to um, it to read this thing, I can do your A. We hit yes. The architecture of open source applications. Architects look at thousands of buildings during their training and study critiques of those buildings written by masters. In contrast, most software developers only ever get to know a handful of large programs, well, usually programs they wrote themselves and never study the great programs of history. As a result, they repeat one another's mistakes rather than building on one another's successes. Our go anyway, so that's personally how I use it because, uh, you know, sometimes I'm just too lazy to read. And uh, this one, you know, the, the voice, you can actually hear it. So it's kind of like, um, 
uh, pre Gideon, pre Friday, pre Jarvis. Hopefully, you got all those references. But uh, it sounds really good. Uh, way better than you know the ones that uh, that we've heard about, like East Speak and Festival. Anyways, uh, that's the tool. And if you want to install it, go ahead. Um, and you know, it, since it's a command line tool, you can actually script it really well with uh, anything. And maybe you can even make like a GUI with it if you you want to do that. But uh, for scripting wise, real simple. You know, uh, all the stuff I show you. Uh, especially if you know you're using a, a, a command line or I mean not command line, a text user interface a web browser I am uh, just hit a hotkey wherever you're at and you have text to speech basically anywho check it out uh, S Fox Pico TTS that'll be it for this one